Hey guys, welcome back to Small Seconds, where we review watches for the regular person. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today, we're taking a look at a watch I came across by accident, the Zelos Hammerhead 2. The brand is built out of Singapore, and this piece is more than just a timekeeper. It's really been the epitome of durability for them since 2016. So let's dive in and discover what makes the Hammerhead 2 stand out. The first thing you'll notice about the Hammerhead 2 is it's got this kind of rough aesthetic to it. The watch features a robust 44mm case that's made from stainless steel and has a helium release valve on the left side of it. 48mm lug to lug, 17mm thick, this thing is the tank. While this watch was offered in tons of different dial options, the Black Sands variant, which we have here, boasts a mesmerizing black dial that contrasts beautifully in the right light. And it kind of reminds uh, you of volcanic beaches. We have a date at the 3 o'clock position with the Zelos logo at noon and the model uh, slash water resistance script just under the center around 6 o'clock. The 120 click unidirectional bezel has a decent crispness to it and all of this is protected under a dome sapphire crystal that has an internal anti-reflective coating on it. Back of the case shows this kind of neat hammerhead shark along with the model and serial number. One thing I like about this model is Zelos offered the Hammerhead 2 with some customizable options. It comes standard with the Seiko NH35 movement, but they offered the option to upgrade to Swiss ETA 2892 movement if you wanted. The movement is encased with a water-resistant shell that can withstand depths up to 1,000 meters, which kind of explains the helium release valve on it. The C3 loom on this watch is actually quite good and something that Zelos has become well known for in the microbrand world. The tank tread of a bracelet that comes with this watch is 22 millimeters wide. It's actually decently done, offering pretty good adjustability paired with screwed in links. It's odd that this watch doesn't have a diver extension considering its water rating, uh, but it did come from Zelos with an isoframe style rubber strap if you really wanted to hop into the pond with this thing. My thoughts. Like I mentioned earlier, I came across this watch by mistake, but was completely taken back by how beefy it was. I just had to show people following our channel about an option that looks like it can hold up to just about everything. Everything about this watch screams the word burly. The bracelet's huge, the watch is heavy, but you know it's there, you know it's on your wrist. It's not something that I would usually check out you know, for myself, but for someone that is extremely tough on their stuff and maybe has a bigger wrist size, I might steer them this way. The hammerhead can be found uh, used in the $200 to $300 price range which means it's fairly accessible for most people. Um, I also think Zelos really does product packaging well. They offer beautiful wooden boxes, sometimes leather watch rolls with the purchase. Uh, it can be really great if you're just getting into the hobby. That is our review for the Hammerhead 2 today. Thanks for following us on our journey. Don't forget to check out our new shop at our website, smallseconds.fp.com, where we carry some different watch accessories and where Dan says, quote, this Tropic strap is the softest strap I've ever worn on my wrist. That's straight from Dan. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram at smallseconds.fp. And uh, cheers, everybody. Have a great day.